Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will look at an example of the syntax that is used by a common ranged Excel formula. When creating ranged formulas, you can see that you type an equal sign to begin. The equal sign lets Excel know that what follows should be interpreted as a formula. So the equal sign begins every formula in Excel. Next you have the name of the function used by the formula. The function could be sum, average, min, max, or one of many others. Next you have the cell range upon which you are performing this particular function. The cell range is a reference to cells that is always enclosed in parentheses. You may see additional syntax symbols that are used within ranged formula functions. The colon is used to separate the first and last cells within the cell range. It's equivalent to the word through in English. So if you were reading this formula from left to right, this cell should equal the sum of B2 through B5. You may also see a comma, and a comma is used to separate items in a list. For example, if you were going to sum two different cell ranges, you could have B2 through B5, and then a comma, and then the second cell range, let's say C2 through C5. You may also see the dollar sign. A dollar sign would appear in front of cell references such as dollar sign B, dollar sign 2. That's used to denote an absolute reference. What that means is if you copy paste this formula anywhere else within the spreadsheet, this particular function will always refer to cell B2, no matter where it's pasted. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.